Hi guys, I am back here in Chickenlandia and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, about what's going on with our Chickenlandia makeover. <laughs> Julie came back this week and she got a few more things done and it's starting to look even better than it did last week. So I'm, I'm really excited about the progress that we're making. It may seem like small steps to you guys, but <laughs> see, Dice the duck knows. <laughs> a lot of the stuff that Julie's doing is work that I have needed to get done in Chickenlandia for a long time. Like years in some cases. So um, she's doing a great job and I just wanna update you guys and show you some more things that she's gotten done. <laughs> Philippe, he's just telling me that he's here. <laughs> We know you're here, Philippe. And I also want to share with you, after my little update on the makeover, on the Chickenlandia makeover, I want to share with you guys a video that I made a year ago that was a trailer <laughs> to a movie called... Oh, God. What is it called? <laughs> it's a trailer to a Chickenlandia movie called Chickaween 2 Second Hatch. <laughs> and this movie is so obscure, no one has ever seen it. <laughs> That's because it doesn't exist. <laughs> but anyway, um, I saw it the other day. Um, it's been a year since I posted it. This was back when I didn't even know how to upload on YouTube, so I never put it on YouTube. So I'm putting it out this year. It's uh, just for fun, and I hope you'll stay tuned to watch my trailer for Chickaween 2 Second Hatch. And please don't look for the movie because you're never gonna find it. <laughs> so let me show you what Julie got done this week. This run right here, uh, I first got because I wanted the ducks to live in it, but they ended up not wanting to live in it. They really want to go with the chickens. And it's very predator proof. It's a great run. Um, it was pretty pricey. Um, I got it from my local farm store holes, which I love. Um, but I ended up using it like as a place to put extra chickens or chick new chickens or babies that need to integrate with the flock. Um, so it, it's very useful, but it needs to be cleaned up. As I told you guys last week, I have a bit of an issue with clutter. So not only was there a bunch of stuff that needed to be organized, but it also needed to be cleaned and dried off and put away. Yesterday, Julie came and she did a ton of cleanup. She made it look super easy. And of course I did a little time lapse because that's my thing right now. I'm doing tons of time lapses. So let's watch. Should have brought my wide lens camera out here. But look, there is nothing on top of the run, except for a tarp that Julie found that she put over this little house just to give another um, area where they can have 
they can be free from the elements a little bit. And then I'll probably put a tarp on this side of it whenever winter starts happening. Uh, just to give them a, a, an extra space out of the wind. Um, you know, they really need, uh, chickens are so cold hardy. They're much more cold hardy than they are heat hardy, um, for sure, depending on the breed, but in general. Um, and so just in the winter, what's important is to make sure that they have some draft free areas to hang out in during the day. So this is my cleaned up run, looking beautiful without a whole bunch of clutter on it. And all that clutter, she found a nice place in the garage to put it, and then she also put it in this box. <laughs> and I had two boxes like this. One of them was filled with very terrifying things. <laughs> including a huge spider, um, which is fine. We love spiders, but that one had really probably been living in that box for years and years. So um, they got a little eviction notice and she filled another box up with stuff that I use during the year. And then this is like full of everyday things that I use for my flock and I have access to it. Philippe? Do not do that, sweetheart. He just tried to get me. We don't do that. We don't do that to the president of Chickenlandia. Okay? So when he does it, I just kind of follow him. And if I didn't have the camera in my hand, I'd probably pick him up. He's a little guy, so he can be trained. And he's not too bad with the... Uh, <laughs> with the attacks, but we don't allow that in Chickenlandia. So there it is, the new cleaned off space. We are getting there. And she also put my mother hen sign up. I talked about that last week. So that is up, and I'm happy about that. Even just a little tiny change like that really changes really just gives the coop more character. So there it is, just some simple changes this week, but it means a lot to me. Um, and I'm super happy that we're getting all this stuff done and so appreciative to my friend Julie. Anyway, I hope you will stick around and watch my trailer, which I am going to put up right now. Now remember, this movie does not actually exist. <laughs> Maybe it will someday. Maybe someday it will appear. Um, Chickaween 2 second hatch, but I'm, it's just pretty nostalgic for me watching it because it was the first video I made for Chickenlandia and, um, you know, that I meant to post on YouTube, but I couldn't figure it out in time. <laughs> so I'm posting it this year. Um, and I'd love it if you stayed tuned and watched it. And if you watch all the way to the end, past the credits and all that, there might be a sneak peek to another video that's coming out at the end of this month, right before Halloween. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this week. Please enjoy my trailer, Chickaween 2 Second Hatch.